program three is passion and grace. And you hear that in Allegro Briant's and Tchaikovsky's Allegro Briant. It's Russian romanticism. And so there's your passion. Allegro Briant is choreographed by George Balanchine to Tchaikovsky's music. And Tchaikovsky was also one of the um, uh, composers that really influenced his work other than Stravinsky. And so Mr. Balanchine said that Allegro Briant in 13 minutes, he put everything he knew about classical ballet in those 13 minutes. And I think it's because Allegro Briant in originally was supposed to have four movements, but Tchaikovsky passed away and he only completed the first movement. And it has a complete orchestra. So when you think of a, of a work that's 13 minutes long that has every musical instrument in the pit, as a choreographer, you would want to uh, match that music and you can't match it in terms of dancers because you can't put 32 dancers for a 13 minute uh, work it doesn't make any sense but you will match it in terms of vocabulary in terms of what those dancers are doing I also think it's interesting that Allegro Briand is the only Balanchine work that uh, when the curtain goes up the dancers are already dancing to me it, it makes sense if the piece is not completed there's no end to the piece, well then there's no beginning to the piece. So the curtain goes up and you have a sense that these dancers, and they are, they're in fact already dancing. Carmen, you don't get more passionate than Carmen, <laughs> the story itself. And Richard Olsen is also another example of a crossover choreographer. He's a modern choreographer trained in the modern vocabulary. And yet Carmen, which he's choreographed for the Scottish Ballet, is a classical work, meaning he uses the classical vocabulary and the point shoot. The Shedron score is actually a wonderful score to choreograph to because it has a lot more percussion um, than the original one by Bizet. And I think when you have percussion, when you have those, uh, those instruments, when you have that beat, it's, it's great for a choreographer because you can actually use them. And, and a dancer, when you hear that, has a, the, the, whole, um, uh, the whole feeling, the whole choreography has a little bit more fire, has a little bit more impact. Grace is really with sweet fields, and um, grace is a, is a religious term that means uh, the grace of God, and sweet fields actually is choreographed by Twyla Tharp, and it's um, created to Walter Billings' 18th century hymns. It's also a cappella, which means that there are no musical instruments at all. What you're listening to are the words. And so it has that, that spiritual quality that's hard to define. Um, there's a lyricism in it. Um, but you, you have a sense of these dancers being transported or wanting to take the audience to a, a higher place, a higher sense of, of being. And you get that very much obviously in the choreography, but you also get it in the costumes. They're, they're um, by Norma Kamali, they're white, they're very flowy, um, they're very light. So you have a real sense of a heavenly place uh, where this dance is, is happening. But it's very abstract. It's not. Um, it's in no way defined or specific. It really just happens um, in Twyla's imagination. 